Sonichu in Episode 2, Genesis of the Love Hogs. We open on Sonichu foraging for food in the forest. Ah, uh, since my transformation, my new, bigger body needs more food than before, and nuts and apples can't cut it. It's been over a week now, and I'm so hungry. Not only that, I feel so lonesome. He comes across Rosichu sitting at a riverbank. Huh? Wow, he says, in admiration of her beauty. She begins to walk away. Where's she running off to? He asks. Fifteen minutes later, we see Rosichu is at Kel's house. Did you have fun, Rosie? Kel asks. Uh, so-so. Well, come on in. I'm fixing some Brunswick stew. So, she lives in that cabin, huh? Sonichu comments. And with her trainer, maybe I can get a bite as well. Rosichu steps into the kitchen, with Kel laboring over a microwave. Since my transformation last week, I have felt so lonesome, Rosichu complains, because there's no other Pokemon like me to love. Oh, relax, Rosie. What about my Dragonite, David? He's loyal. Oh, come on, Kel. David's just too big for me, says Rosichu. You can have him. I don't want him. Well, can't say I didn't try, says Kel. Hey, for all we know, your love could be just around the corner. Or right at the door. I'll get that, says Rosichu. Hello, how may I? Hey, says Sonichu. I'm just a wild one who hasn't eaten much for over a week. Can you help me out? I don't believe it, thinks Rosichu. A handsome Pokemon who is like me? I've got to learn more about him. Come on in, she invites, grabbing Sonichu by the chest. Whoa, he says. So what's your name? Sonichu? My name is Rosichu, but you can call me anytime. How about I call you Rosie? That's my nickname. Hey, Kel, we have a guest. Boy, I thought I was a speedy one, thinks Sonichu. Well... I think she's cute anyway. Kel walks in. Who is it, Rosie? The stew's almost ready, and I... Kel, this is Sonichu. He wishes to break bread with us. Hello. Wow, another hedgehog Pokemon, thinks Kel. And a male for Rosichu. Ah, this must be fate. It's nice to meet you, Sonichu. Have a seat with Rizy. The stew's almost ready. Rosie, entertain your new boyfriend. So what's your favorite color? Rosichu asks. Uh, yellow. No, blue. One night, a few days later, we come across Sonichu and Rosichu holding hands, sitting on a stone bench. Isn't the night sky so romantic? Comments Rosichu. It sure is. I could just sit here and look at it for hours with you. Yeah, but then we'd fall asleep together, says Sonichu. And I wouldn't have it any other way, Rosie. Oh, Sonichu, I'm so happy with you. I love you. And I love you, Rosichu. As often as birds tweet, you are my lovely heart sweet. Oh, Sonichu. They move in for a kiss, illuminated by the moon and stars. Their lips and tails lock, and a glorious display of fireworks in the night sky celebrates their love. The End